in this contract of the emotional connection breakdown, partner number one says, hey, you hurt my feelings because you didn't keep a promise. So I'm going to protect myself from allowing you to ever hurt me again. Um, I will say that I observe this particular offer more strongly in men. Men typically go the whole, they'll play it real calm and they won't have an emotional outburst necessarily, but they have a whole agreement with themselves. Oh, I will never let that happen again. I will never let that happen again. I see men more strongly operating in the emotional disconnect and the self-protection because he's vowed to himself he will never allow himself to hurt that way again, to be hurt that way again. I'm not saying women don't do it. I'm just making uh, an observation here and sharing it with you for the benefit of your insight into how these things are legal and how to get out of them. <clears throat> so partner number two, counter offers. Hey, I really didn't mean to hurt you like that. I really can't understand why you have completely shut down in this way or completely disconnected or completely disengaged from me in this way. Why have you closed yourself off to me in this area? You know what? So if that's the way you want it, then I'm going to protect myself also. Because it hurts to think that you would shut me out in this way. Y'all, I'm close to crying when I think about the way that husbands and wives enter into this contract, this, this counter deal inside of their marriages. We're no longer going to be vulnerable with one another. This is so flipping painful. To be married with someone, living with someone day in and day out and literally unable, unwilling or having agreed and put into operation the legal power of an agreement not to be vulnerable anymore. And agree that we're going to protect ourselves from one another. Well, what's the freaking point of being married? If you're going to agree to this, you, you're literally like, you're just, this is like a... Uh, this is like getting uh, an artery punctured by a bullet. You're eventually going to bleed out on this one. Because it's creating this conflict that we no longer share the intimate spaces of our lives with, with one another. I don't let you know what I'm thinking, what I'm dreaming, what I'm feeling. Like what? How is this marriage? This is the contract where you agree to go through the motions without really being married. And what's your internal conflict looking like? Well, what you really desire is to have intimacy. But what you're experiencing is a defensiveness. What you really want is to be understood, but what you're, what you're feeling is frustrated. Why he or she does not understand how much, how, how frightening it is to be vulnerable with you. 